Hi. Now, all of you know, I have kittens and I abuse them. Every day when I wake up, I will smoosh their faces like this. As you can tell, the kittens don't like it, but I insist. I make eye contact to let them know. I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyways. I will take them up in my hands and then bury my face in their little warm furs, kiss their little foreheads and pinch their little paws. When the whole ritual is over, they run away immediately. And I feel slightly embarrassed before pretending nothing has happened. Just like the feeling when you saw you find your true love, where your true love sued you for harassment. I harass my kittens in this way constantly. As weird as this might sound when spelled out, this is the desire to nibble your pets is not unusual. Lots of people share those impulses towards dogs, cats, babies, or any other wee things that could cause you find them excruciatingly adorable. If you don't, you're a weirdo. Just kidding. Even if you don't, you, you must have experienced a secondhand embarrassment for someone who just did a minute ago. What is it? What is the overwhelming urge I have to hurt my kittens? This affliction has a name, cute aggression. Experiencing cuteness since many people on the neurochemical roller coaster with their minds attempts to balance themselves resulting in bizarre, intense displays towards tiny, helpless little beings. In other words, it is an urge some people get to squeeze, crash, or bite cute things, although without any desire to harm them. What is it for? This over-the-top response might serve a very important purpose to ensure that we don't spend too much time cooing at a baby or puppy that we forget to take care of them. Yeah, my kittens' little faces are just too much on a chemical level. I could be paralyzed by their overloaded cuteness. Okay, so, but cute aggression kicks in, saving my ass, and more importantly, my cats. Here's how it works. In reality, a baby cannot survive alone. But if it's so overwhelmed by how cute it is and how much you love it, then you can't take care of it. And that baby won't survive. This is when cute aggression kicks in, saying, everybody, don't panic, don't panic, calm the fuck down. But obviously, it is doing a shitty job because next thing you see is me trying to bite my baby's face off. But the more quickly a caretaker returns to a state of emotional stability, the better the odds the small vulnerable thing won't experience a significant lapse in having its needs met. If that means I have to smash my cats seven times a day, so be it. Our brains are amazing, right? Researchers think knowing how human brains generate cute aggression and other dimorphous expressions could have therapeutic potential. Truth be told, knowing the scientific fact itself has been truly healing for me. When cute aggression first happened on myself, I was only eight years old. I saw my little newborn cousin lying on the bed and I want to bite her so bad. I did, and she cried, and became a little dark secret ever since. I was worried I was too violent, I had too much energy, that I might have a tendency for baby or animal abuse. It bothered me over the years, making me question about my mental health or even my life choices. Now, thanks to scientists, I know it is completely normal to have any stray urges I might feel to jiggle a particularly chubby baby. I feel so relieved. And all it took was just Googling it 
my secret for 20 minutes. This little research project makes me think. How many dark secrets are out there that have been bugging us, sticking out in our memories, or even hiding in our self-deceptions? Secrets like, my tummy are too fat. I like the smell of gas, what's wrong with me? Or, I'm 80 years old already, but I still like 20 years old women. Big chance is, these are not as dark as you thought they are. What actually hurt us are the shades that we shed on them. Now, I wonder what all of you think and how all of you feel. Do you want to try to Google any of the dark secrets tonight? Or even better, do you want to pick up the phone and talk to a friend you trust? Open your heart, share a little dark secret with the world, and let it go. Ms. Toastmaster. Thank you.